I'm a nom. I'm sure you'll understand if I don't take your word for it. As the customary final request of the condemned man, please, do not kill any more of my people on your way out. Their only crime against you is their loyalty to me. You don't seem surprised to see me. I'm not. After the train station attacks, I knew it was only a matter of time before they sent someone. Please, sit. This isn't a social call, Rucker. I'm here to take you in. Our mandate is to fight for the rights of the augmented. Communicate our message, offer assistance. The Ark is a non-violent organization. All right, then this should be easy. Come with me, answer our questions, and we'll have you back here in plenty of time to film your next sermon. I'm not a fool. If I surrender now, I'm never coming back. Once you have me, you intend to make me disappear. But I will not make Solzhenitsyn's mistake. My people and I will resist you. I thought you were a pacifist. I am. But I'm more than a leader. I am a symbol. That is why you wish to erase me. If martyrdom is the only way to remain a symbol, then even my death is preferable to my evaporation. You said you don't want any more of your people getting hurt. But if I have to bring you in by force, I will. And they're gonna try to stop me. There's a better chance of avoiding violence if you come along peacefully. You have my word. I will do everything I can to see that you are treated fairly. How dare you speak to me of peace and fairness? You assaulted innocent people to get in here and kidnap me on behalf of masters who hide in the shadows, manipulating, controlling, and murdering without the courage to proclaim their convictions in front of the rest of the world. You're not any different from them, Rucker. All of you rely on armed men while spouting your rhetoric from behind the safety of a camera. If you want to prove the strength of your convictions, confront your enemies face to face. Well, you seem to be more than the unquestioning brute I took you for. It is refreshing to hear that kind of passion and idealism in other people, particularly after everything I've experienced lately. I have been patient and understanding. I have taught my people non-violence and waited for the rest of the world to follow that example. I have had faith in humanity, and humanity betrayed me. Follow your example. History has shown that anti-other movements always spring up in times of chaos and fear. Before deciding to become the symbol of the cause, you should have made sure you were prepared for it. I thought I was. I thought I could... God help me, someone had to do it. This is a very precarious time for the movement. These attacks are making everything worse for us. My leadership position within ARC is being threatened, and I suspect the two might even be connected. Please, go back to your people. Tell them to give me 48 hours so I can attempt to resolve the internal conflict. I'm sorry. If I go back empty-handed, I'll just be replaced, probably by someone more eager and less sympathetic. Coming in now is honestly the best thing you can do for everyone. Yes. I suspect you are right. But can you understand this? If you were to take me from here, you would be responsible for more than my death. You would be responsible for my effacement the ruination of the Augmented Rights Coalition, and the perversion of everything it stands for. The bottom line hasn't changed. If you come with me willingly, there won't be any violence. You now have the choice. Choose the non-violent path, or you are the one betraying the cause. I... I cannot watch any more of my people die. Not on my account. 
You've asked me to trust you, and so... I will. Before we leave together, there's something I must show you. I suspect there's a power struggle brewing within our organization. Some people inside Ark are less committed to our ideals. Are you trying to tell me you know who's responsible for the bombings? I have only suspicions, and until recently not even that. The evidence I have begun collecting is meager, but I give it to you. This is the key card for the security door. The evidence is inside. Why give it to me? Why not keep it, present it at your interrogation? Because if my suspicions are correct, and I am seen leaving here with you willingly, I may not survive to present my evidence. Somewhere down there, hiding in plain sight, is your real terrorist. I was trying, secretly, to find out who is responsible. Rucker. Rucker is dead. Come again. I'll fill you in when I see you, which is where exactly? There's some greenhouses near your position. Below them is a clearing. That's where I'll be. Chicane out. 